Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Brawler. I have completed all the quests leading up to Dolven View and I am now level 50 and as I said before I am now going to open up the goodies associated with level 50. First off we have the Brawler Battle Gauntlets, the level 50 edition. And with that I have got of course another set of battle gauntlets but it doesn't matter because I now have my legendary version so I won't be using this I presume that this was for anyone who got the level 50 without getting a legendary item which sometimes happens I've had few characters that did operate in that manner so I could understand that now Let's see, I have this Elven Steel Leggings of Determination, which are a very good upgrade to what I currently have on my legging side, so I'll take care of that. And the Dwarf Steel Jacket of Determination, uh, which are... Actually, this is a bit of a downgrade because I got the Survivor's Armor, so I've decided I'm not going to be keeping that one. Now, we also have the... My last steel box for my last key. See if I get anything useful for it for the last key. A fur rug. Hmm. That could be nice for the floor of one of my houses. So I'll hold on to that. Obviously, that's how's it? Proud emblem of the Wayfarer. 52 might, 38 vitality, 597. Well, obviously it's a huge upgrade over the sleigh bell, but I just use the sleigh bell for kicks, obviously, not for what it needs. But I suppose if I'm having a tough time, I could maybe equip that item. So that's what I got on the level 50 side. Now, I do have these other boxes. There is no new box that I got, but... We do have this level 61 box that is waiting in here that will contain us, see, level 61 through 91 battle gauntlets. So those sounds like the ones that were probably designed for when you have legendary items, but did not have yet an imbued one. So obviously how they handle these battle gauntlet boxes I think were designed and laid out before they decided the brawlers were only going to be using the new legendary item system. And then we have one for level 101 for 101 through 126 and this is probably some things originally was planned to have be related to imbued items maybe it'll have some traceries or something like that under the new system. And that's what we've got coming up on ahead. Now that we've opened up the goodies, let's start book two of the volume two epic story. We must be cautious. Dwarves have not lived here for long years. Many creatures have thrived in the darkness during the long absence of the dwarves, especially the grid big, fierce and loathsome insects spawned from the deep. Seek out all varieties of Gridbig in the western levels to the south and west of this chamber and eliminate them. This will be the first small step in reclaiming the great delving for my people. There is much to be done before true progress is to be made. So I need to defeat Gridbig within the great delving. Now, traditionally, I would just go into the Dolven View area to take care of this. I wonder if there's a better place to do this. When I say better place, I mean slightly higher level grid big than the ones that are out there. That appears not to be the case. So I'll just punch out a few of these here and there. And then quickly return back, where I think soon after that they will give me something a little bit higher up in the level. After all, I don't know why they rate this as a level. Was it? Why well, they rate this level as a 53 quest when all the bugs it looks like that I know about 
They're all 51, maybe occasionally 52. Bugs squashed. You have done well, friend. You're ever a friend in need, and I am at your service. You continue to impress me with your inex inextinguishable fervor towards our cause. Records and histories of Moria will aid us, if you can find them. Yes, the Gridvig were a dreadful hazard, and despite their efforts, they will undoubtedly return in time. But we can't spend over long dealing with minor threats. To wholly wipe them out would involve resources beyond what I can provide. We must turn now to other matters, and defend ourselves from the returning Gridvig whenever we must. What I truly desire above all else is a chance to look at records and histories of the old days. Who knows what secrets lie untold beneath the dust, pages, tablets, and tomes to be found throughout the caverns of Moria. There should be storehouses located within the great delving of Moria, and they are thus named the Chamber of Knowledge, the Chamber of Wisdom, and the Chamber of Deep Thought. Find these storehouses within the Great Delving and bring back their records. I'll see what I can find. Personally, I think the bookshelves in the Chamber of Wisdom are in better shape than I would have thought. Perhaps I should have brought the entire library with me. Hmm. Well, here's something that I could discern. Let's bring this back. The Chamber of Knowledge isn't quite in as good a shape. We do have an occasional bookshelf that seems to be fine, but most of them seem to be ransacked. Hmm. Well, looks like there's something reasonable on here. Now that just means the Chamber of Deep Thought. Ah, the Chamber of Deep Thought. We've got some spider web here. Bookshelves seem to be otherwise intact. And of course, we've got a document inside the strong box that is still decipherable. How nice. Now, let's get back to Bosi. I've returned with the records. None of this seems useful, friend. Except. Oh, now wait a moment! Oh? There is something interesting after all? Actually, let me make sure I get the right one of these before I do any. Not that it's going to matter much, since I tend not to really use pocket items all that much. This record tells of a mighty axe, Ziegelberg, forged at the Heart of Fire. <gasps> yes, these pages talk about something interesting. An axe made entirely of mithril. Light enough to be wielded one-handed, but strong enough to fell any foe or rend any armor with a single sweep. Ziegelbert, it was called, and it appeared to have been forged in Durin's time by one called Ongli. Hmm. I have not heard that name before, but can it be that one so skilled would be remembered and not be remembered in legend? There is more to be learned on these pages. Could it be that Ziegelbert might yet be found? My son Bori has been racked by grief ever since Bruin was slain before the doors of Durin. Bring him these pages and tell him of Ziegelbert. It will do him well to have other thoughts upon which to brood. Go up to the stairs on the eastern side of the chamber and through the door of the Chamber of Command. My son Bori is there, and Broker also. Alright, let's go. And of course, they are inside of special chambers because back in those days, they didn't have the concept of phasing in and out. Thus, their way of handling NPCs that move around is to put them in rooms that you can only access at certain points in the storyline. And this is their current location. Ruin would have loved to have seen this place. This is just the sort of adventure he would have relished. Still, I may be able to help you, though my heart will not be in it. 
It seems that the dwarf who sought the forged Ziegelberg relished his privacy, and by the grace of Durin, he was given a secret forge at which to work. These pages do not reveal the location of the forge, but they do mention a trick of some sort that would open the door. The nature of this trick is lost, but these pages indicated that it was recorded in Khatub Zahar, the word horde of Durin. Hmm. It's supposed to be on the eastern side of the Great Delving. Alright, so I will go and look for this Khatub Zahar. Here's a nice place. It is called... What's the name? How about that? Khatub Zahar. What a coincidence. I have found the word horde. I think you have found the answer, friend. Good. He has given a secret forge called Nar Khelab, the Heart of Fire. Now go back to Khatub Zahar and see if you can find any information about the trick needed to open the doors. All right. We must find the Heart of Fire and the means to access it. All right, I'll go there and kill a few keep claws while I'm there. Gotcha! Now that I've made it to the word horde, it is time to take care of a few of these deep claws. Yeah, like that. And like that. Completed. Fast reflexes. Ooh. New deed. Class Deeds Tier 5, alright. Yeah, I am getting through the Class Deeds. Let's take care of these piece by piece. And of course, when I really get to the top, to find the way in. Into the Heart of Fire. There you go. Wait. They're all over the place, aren't they? Your turn. Ah, and this is where the text will be. All right, let's see. Right in here, I believe. And I have discovered rotten run pages that mentioned Nar Caleb. How about that? I came to the exact right one on first try. What are the chances of that? <laughs> yeah, I know if you've done this quest enough times, you know exactly where to go. Sometimes they have quests where it goes to, if they ask you to find six of them, it'll be in the sixth one or something like that. Sometimes it's in a random one in some quests. And some quests it's that one specific one. Such as that one with the golden tooth that we had in an earlier episode. Or of course is this one. Now I've got one more deep claw I must kill and then I'll be ready to head back to the chamber of crossroads. Goodbye. I found these pages. This must be it. The secret to accessing the heart of fire. Many of the words are faded, and the parchment is run. Oh, curse those deep claws and cave claws. Use the, the secret of opening the door seems to be punishable by death or imprisonment. Blacksmith only could approve entry, as could Durin, of course. I cannot make out the next line, but aha! Here we go. The door will be hidden until the following steps are taken. This word must be only, which means that it must be hailed as a master blacksmith or congratulated as his fine works or saluted, I think. And then these words must be spoken. Bob Kanon Zuhuk. Yeah, that's it. Yes, yeah, but where? But still, we have no idea of its location. Yeah, there is that. Uh, maybe Broker has some idea? I do not have time for riddles. There's too much to be done. 
You would have better luck catching a wild red-horned goat than you would have finding this ridiculous forge. This secret to opening the door you have recovered is nothing more than a mad dwarf's mutterings. I have had an idea. What if the goblins have found a heart of fire? Yes, so go to the Silver Teen Loads, kill the goblins there, collect the maps, and see if they found it. Well, there are worse ideas I've run into. Let's now take care of a few of these uh, goblins. Starting out with this guard here. Boom. Alright, so now we need to defeat goblins in the Silver Team Loads. I have a couple other little goblin quests I took along just to deal with a couple of extra quests while I'm here. Hey, how well can I pummel a goblin? Alright. And I want to take care of Gothrok here. Right, I, he's not too much of one. It's level 52 quest. Oh yeah, I am supposed to be mainly looking for these maps in addition to killing goblins, right? This is one. There's one down. And now, it would be nice if I could get some mobs that are about 53 or 54, because I'd like to get some of those... Garn, yeah, that's it. Some of those infused garnets, but I think they don't start to drop till about 53, probably. So that we can try the. Oops, Daisy. Oh, actually, that that that's the boss fight skill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I keep on forgetting what they're for. Someday I'll remember, right? Oh, oh, oh oops, a daisy. I don't see you. Oh, now I see you. There. Punch. Okay, good. I am getting some rip clickies and stuff like that. Actually, I need to make sure I do kill plenty of goblins because by the time I finish the. We'll get to, what was it, from book six, I think, of the epic story, where I'm expected to have finished up my deed for killing goblins and orcs. I think it's something like that. I killed him twice already. Now, where are, see, I have three maps. That means the last one is out this way, in this hall. This, this is where you normally come for it. Hold on. Oh, there it is. It, it, can I? Can it, it? There we go. I want to make sure I get the first hit in because he, I think he only blinds you if you, if he gets the first hit in. So whenever I see one of them pop out, I try. Now where did I put that? Throw mug at him button. There you go. Now. Slow, 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 slow. And I, the map I'm looking for is up here. Ah, good. One map. And a goblin. Uh, oops. Alright. Now that I have all the maps, let us get back to the Chamber of Crossroads. I am back with the maps. These maps do not tell me anything. Well, all right. Nothing on the maps. Oh, would the broker could share his adventure with us. Okay. Maybe Bosi has something to say. Hello. Do you think you could figure out where the heart of fire is from these maps? My cousin might not see the answer, but I do. <laughs> yes? Oh, where? 
It is very simple, my friend. Let me explain it to you. Yes, we are not looking for a room that is on the map. We are looking for a stretch of undisturbed wall behind which such a room could be hidden. And I have found just such a spot right there. Alright, I suppose we can go and check this out. And we'll find out if there's anything behind that stretch wall in the next episode of Piney Plays the Brawler.